Welcome to the No. I'm Brian. I'm Ben. Sorry, I just had to take a break from opening Hearthstone packs. That's all I've been so, doing all morning. Yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> opened like 40 of them. Um, but we need to talk about Rockstar and their statement recently saying they're going to fix all the problems with Red Dead Online. Uh, they put out a statement. This was uh, uh, Monday afternoon. And so I want to read that and then we can kind of talk about what this means. So what they said was, thanks to everyone who has participated in the beta so far. We appreciate your help in testing the game. Your feedback from these early days will be instrumental in helping formulate updates to every aspect of the experience. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now they get to the good part. Our current areas of focus include the in-game economy, which will require some additional balancing in order to ensure all activities are appropriately rewarding and fun, as well as some persistent bugs that are causing some players to be kicked from sessions. So they've clearly heard people's complaints oh, about yeah. the economy. Yeah, I mean, like, good on Rockstar. I'm not going to give them my, like, Patton and Ben stamp of approval for, you know, being the hero of the year, but uh, I'm glad that they're at least communicating with people. The beta's only been out for, what, like a week? It feels like it's been out for months that at this nuts. point. That is nuts, I know. Um, I think, one, I think it's good. They needed to listen because I think people had very valid complaints. Uh, I think... They have they had set the the work rewards ratio in such a weird way that I, I don't think anyone would pl anybody would play this or or I think that it would just really hurt their you know base of players. But the conspiratorial side of me thinks that Rockstar had to have known this was going to happen. Like the the way the way they set prices and rewards at the beginning, to me it feels like they're kind of testing a little bit. How much will people put up with? Sure, I think that's fair. I've reeled back my feeling a little bit of it. I'm kind yeah. of on the fence. I'm like, okay, I I will give Rockstar this one. Maybe they were just testing the economy and maybe they thought this was realistic and okay. Or maybe they were, you know, trying to bait players a little bit and try to say, yeah, like we're gonna we're lowering prices, and now that they're you know ten percent lower, they're they'll be you know not worshipped, but people will be like really happy and expect yeah, that like fine oh now. they listened to us, they gave us a five percent discount, right. it's like well. You're still going to get fucked. Bro. How much of this is like carrot and stick? Like they're kind of just leading people a little bit just to remove the economy just slightly. Right. But they're still going to make a shit ton of money off right, of Right, because they've shifted the goalposts so far one way that even if they back them, if they move them back a little bit, then they still get, you know, 90% of what they want. Exactly. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you're going to have to grind for, for this stuff. I, I doubt they're going to set it to where, you know, it's it's prices are equivalent to the single player version and you can just, you know, uh, get all the currency you want very easily. Uh, they went on to say, the game has been developed so that we will able be able to quickly make any adjustments like these and we plan to get updates out as early as the end of this week with more updates to come next week. Feedback from the community has been invaluable, and we will continue to keep you regularly updated as things progress. Which is pretty constant with their message so far. I pulled mm -hmm. some stats on kind of what their message has been so far. Yeah. Uh, like we mentioned, it's only been a week, so I'm really glad that at least they're tackling this. Yeah. It makes me feel that this is less of a, um, oh, we need to get ahead of this, and just, you know, they've had a week to get the beta out there, yeah. like let it breathe a little bit. But at least to me, this communicates this isn't just some kind of like stress test. This is more, this is an open world that we're going to be constantly updating and developing. Uh, and we are listening to you guys, which has been most of what they're saying. I, I think they're they're clearly playing the long game here because if they want this to be another GT online, they want this to go on for years and years and years and years and make billions and billions of dollars on it. So I, I think they are trying to, yes, get out in front to try to make as good of a first impression as they can mm -hmm. with people. Um, you know, just in terms of, yeah, we're listening to you. We're going to make these changes. They probably have seen what happened with Fallout 76, you know, and, and don't want don't want to repeat of that. Mm -hmm. Although people are having fun with that game, but there are a lot of complaints. And I think... Um, I think this is in a way better spot than most of the open world games that we've seen released recently. Yeah. Um, in terms of, like, yeah. how they're talking with people, I think we saw... So the 26th is when they announced the beta's coming out on the 27th. Uh -huh. uh, the 27th of last, uh, last month was when they announced the beta's live. Here's kind of what it entails and what you can expect. 
And then there were some vague tweets on, we're listening to feedback, we promise we're listening to feedback. Uh, and then November 30th, they tweeted out some quick tips. And I don't know if that was kind of to cover, because I think around then is when the economy issues started happening. Yes. And then there were more vague tweets on, right. like, we're listening to feedback. And then finally today, or yesterday, we got, guys, uh, everything's fine. We're going to, we're, we're breathing a little sort bit. Sort of a definitive, okay, we heard you. This is the next yeah, thing, thing we're working on. Yeah. I think the bigger thing that fans might want to keep an eye out for, and that's this is more of a long-term thing, and we know how much of a short-term, like, memory the internet has, is the inflation uh, of what Rockstar's economy is going to be. Because GTA's inflation, like for like how much things cost as expansions released, just like was astronomical. Mm -hmm. And I could very much see them doing the same thing with this. And that's where I think people might get a little bit lax and not realize, oh, I'm spending way more money in in-game currency right. with what's being delivered. Right. And, and and that's you know for them that's where they make all their money. But but you know for players that can be like, oh shit, what did I what have I yeah. done? Um, I I think time will tell. I don't know if. I, I'm not prepared to say, oh, they're being good guys or not. I, right. I think it's it's going to depend on what they do. Don't you get know. your pitchforks and, pitchforks and torches just yet. Just kind of eye it in the corner and maybe be ready to grab it if something happens. But for now, <laughs> for now. Keep it at the ready, I say. For Always have your pitchfork. Enjoy the game. I think it's okay for now. I think it'll, you know, and it, it's going to come down to whatever they tweak it to, are people having fun playing it? Sure. Do people feel like they're getting value out of, you know, uh, the time spent? And it's not just a grind-a-thon for, you know, currency. And to be fair, Rockstar is pretty good about that. They're going to release more and more content. They're going to release, like, the equivalent of whatever heists are going to be in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there will be more that we see in the online community. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to be something that's just kind of, here's your world, and yeah. now send us money. Yeah. So that is uh, what we've got in terms of Rockstar's response, saying it's going to fix the issues in Red Dead Online. What have you guys thought? Uh, does, this, does this communication from Rockstar make you feel better? Are you waiting and seeing? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And uh, as always, like and subscribe to The Know. Hit us up on our website, thenow.tv. See ya.